Hi, I'm Kira, Island Socialist on Instagram, and my blog is islandsocialist.com. Today, I am sharing a very simple and basic pattern that is perfect for all your standout prints. Stay tuned. Sarah Everyday Tank and Dress by 5 out of 4 patterns. This is a basic tank and dress pattern with options for tank length, dress length and maxi dress length. I made the maxi dress length and I am absolutely in love. It is such a simple make. I whip this up in a few hours on my serger. And as you can see, I use a very bold print because I think that the simplicity of this pattern allows for very fun and standout prints. Now I've been really into my basics lately because it's something that is truly lacking in my wardrobe but if you know anything about me you know that I don't like a basic basic. I like a fun <laughs> basic. I like a standout basic. Essentially I like a Kiro basic. To me this is the definition of a Kiro basic. It is an inline maxi dress both in lime green tie-dye can't get more fun than lime green tie-dye and i have mine accessorized with some orange so this is definitely a standout look in the simplest form ever so let's have a little chat about the pattern i don't know if it's pronounced sarah or sarah but i am going with sarah based on the spelling so the sarah comes in sizes extra extra small to 5x now I fell in between two sizes because this pattern does come with a full bust piece already included so you don't have to do a full bust adjustment depending on the difference between your high bust and a full bust. Now I fell right on the line to do the full bust measurement. So essentially because this is a knit I could get away without one but as well one could probably fit me well. So I was kind of stumped because I fell in between the medium full bust and the large regular bust. That being said, I did opt to make a mock-up. Now you're probably thinking, why would you make a mock-up of a maxi dress? Don't worry, I only made a mock-up of a little <laughs> crop top version just to get an idea of the fit specifically at the bust. I made sure to use the exact type of material you can probably tell this is double brushed poly. This scrap is from my Stylac Astoria dress, also made in double brushed poly. It just happens to be tie dye as well. That totally was not planned. Um, this is the scrap of the brush poly that I had in my stash. So for this mock up, I went for the regular size large and i'll explain to you the reason why i did do that so last week i actually tried five out of four patterns for the first time i made kind of just a sample of the pamela top and dress and i went with that square neck version um just a basic hip length top for that one i did go with the medium full bust and i found that there was just a little extra room right at the side of the bust that was kind of puckering out a bit and this fabric has even more stretch than that fabric did so i knew that i would run into the same problem and i knew that with the stretch percentage of the double brush poly it would be good enough to fit around my bust with absolutely no issues if i made the regular version that being said i want i knew i wanted this to be a loose fitting maxi dress but i should have graded back down to the medium at the waist i didn't because i just figured hey, it's gonna be a loose dress anyway but it was definitely too big in the waist area so i ended up having to go in and take in and take in three quarters of an inch you guys from the bust to right about where it starts curving out at the hip and i blended it back into the large hip line the other change i made is that i actually added two inches to this dress because i like my maxi dresses to hit the flow I like if I'm walking on the beach it is going to move the sand with it I know that it's not everybody's cup of tea but that is where I like my maxi dresses to sit so I added two inches and for reference I'm only five 
for and this pattern i believe is designed for someone who's five five or five six so because of the tank style the armholes and neckline are finished with bands which was super super easy for me to deal with because my sewing machine actually does not like double brush poly so being able to just sew this up on my serger everything including the bands was amazing for me it made it go a lot quicker and i had no issues with sewing whatsoever i actually left the hem raw as well with double brush poly you do not have to worry about any sort of fraying i like the way it looks raw i think it drips nicely what i did do was just use some free check on the end of the third seams and also on the edge going all the way around the bottom of the dress i just put a little bit of free check it's not gonna fray but it's just to protect it and help it to last a little bit longer now this is an entirely new color for me i have never worn anything lime green green is not a color i'm usually drawn to however with wear happy color and so happy color happening on instagram i looked in my stash and i was like i think it's time for me to make up this lime green tie-dye fabric so that was the push i needed and i absolutely love this dress my husband loves it as well and i think that the silhouette is just perfect but it's very bright lime green fabric this was my first time shooting on a beach in over a year obvious reasons it was so good to get back out and i cannot believe i forgot i absolutely forgot in the fun of things to record a tour for you guys and i think that you guys would have really loved to see a tour of this one on the beach i had so much fun running from waves the sea was extremely rough i did get wet i will make sure to put some photos in my photo shoot because i do have a photo of when i got soaked um very live and real it's a very funny photo and i'll be sure to put that up so you guys can have a laugh i am so sorry i did not do a tour in distress but now that I remember, tours are a thing. <laughs> you see, having to shoot at home for quite some time, I, I like I completely forgot how to do photo shoots on the outside. So now I remember that tours are a thing. Look out for some beach shots. Now that we can visit the beaches again. We do have limited times to visit the beaches though. So I had to go between 3 p.m. and 6 p.m., which luckily is perfect because then um golden hour is around five to six and i made sure to go to a beach that had like no one there was like one surf in the water and then it was just my husband and i so i had a blast absolute blast she was in this dress and i think you'll be able to tell from the photos that i was just truly in my element enjoying this dress and enjoying shooting on a beach after such a long time outside and now that i can do beach water shoots again i feel like i am finding my style again like this is 100 percent me um i love a good maxi dress i love a good tie-dye i love anything flowy i love tassels i love color this is me in a nutshell and i'm so happy that i'm able to bring that part of me to you again after such a long time um i did take a break of the last few weeks just to kind of find myself find my style and um reconnect with my love of sewing if you could put it that way um i feel like if i had lost myself um, i do have a blog post about that whole scenario <laughs> um my thoughts what was going through my head why i was taking a break what i hope to achieve through taking a break and so forth so i'm going to link that blog post down below because it's a really interesting one guys so that is it for this very short video i just wanted to come on and show you guys my very bright lime green tie-dye sarah everyday tank and dress from five out of four patterns oh i forgot to mention that this fabric is from fabric mat pretty sure this is no longer in stock because this was in my stash for a little while i think the colorway was called 
lime and muted navy which it definitely is and i don't know how true this is coming up on camera but this is this is the fluorescent green guys like this is highlighter green so very new for me but love it feel very confident in this dress um have i have nothing <laughs> bad to say at all um i am gonna get a lot of way out of this dress the only problem is with it being so bright it's like anybody who saw me and this the first time when they see me in this again they're gonna be like oh i know that dress <laughs> like you can't miss me coming down the road in this anyway let me know what you guys think of this dress the color especially i'm interested to know your thoughts with that i am out if you enjoyed this video please give me a big thumbs up thank you so much for joining me today and i will catch you guys in the next video also don't forget to hit the subscribe button on the way out bye